My name is John Costa and I'm the editor of Citizens Eye, the community news agency that covers Leicester and Leicestershire. Uh, we're less than 24 hours away now from Wednesday the 2nd of November, which is day one of our seven-day community media week. It's our third community media week and it takes place across the city and the county and we've got lots of training, lots of networking, lots of free blogging sessions, how to use social media, how to make a film for YouTube events taking place here at uh, Adult Education, which is the old library on um, Beaver Street in Leicester, and also at Phoenix Square, the Film and Digital Media Centre. Some highlights are an open networking session for those interested in the Leicester Media Network, which is a new cooperative that will be launching. That's on Wednesday evening at Phoenix Square between 6 and 8. Um, and also on Saturday evening, we're doing a screening for Community Media Week of Page One, which is the New York Times documentary about citizens' journalism as well, uh, which should be quite interesting. And then on Sunday at Phoenix Square, we've got a whole media day, completely free, uh, come find out lots to do with social media, being becoming a community reporter. That's between 11 and 6, and running alongside that will be the DZ and Disability Film Festival as well. All the films will be free for people to see. An exciting development today um, is well, I picked up all the uh, radio equipment, the old Vision FM radio equipment from Braunston, um, and we've done an asset transfer to Citizens Eye Radio, which will be here in the Adult Education Building. This is our booth here. And uh, what we've got, we've got loads of kit in there, which is great. It's not wired up yet, but we've got Kayo, who's also agreed to, uh, for he's somewhere too, which is a project that uh, Tina Barnes, the regional coordinator for, which is a cultural Olympic project for 16 to 25 year olds to find somewhere to do something. And Kayo wanted to do this, and he's kindly agreed to, well, I don't know, pimp up our uh, radio booth, I think, you know what I mean? So it's yeah. looking good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Set of headphones there with the big, big citizen's eye in the middle, looking good. So hopefully at the beginning of December we should be in a situ uh, position where we can actually get all the radio equipment up and running. Citizens Eye Radio will start, it will broadcast here into the open space of the college, also into the cafeteria, into the rest of the building here on Wellington Street and uh, hopefully on the internet as well. We're in partnership with uh, Demon FM which is great, they've been really supportive and they're going to give us some sort of uh, training and stuff and hopefully we'll get some Saturday clubs going as well for young reporters and for lots of different people to come in and find out about working in radio, getting involved in community radio. Uh, I know BBC Radio Leicester are quite interested in what we're doing and some uh, other partners as well include Hilltop Radio, Hermitage FM, Panjapani Radio and Eva FM and Kahunal Radio as well. So it's good, well, you know, Citizens Eye works really well from the people that represent the mainstream right down to people that are doing internet and, and FM broadcasting. So it's great. So if you're interested in getting involved in any of those things, you can follow us on Twitter, at Citizens Eye. We're on Facebook with John Costa, who is the editor, I'm the editor of Citizens Eye. Uh, the Citizens Eye website, citizenseye.org. If you look at the top right hand corner, there's a, a Community Media Week logo. If you click on that, there's a detail of break, detailed breakdown of each of the seven days, all the events and activities that are going on. And also, if you've got an iPhone, um, you're luckier than anyone else that's got an Android or a Blackberry or an iPad because literally on Saturday we launched our iPhone app which is fantastic done for us by Sean Clark from Cuttlefish absolutely brilliant, it's had some good reviews so go to the App Store and download our iPhone app which is just Citizen's Eye, two separate words so thanks so much to everybody for listening hopefully get to see you over in Community Media Week and as always thank you to Ambrose who always manages to ambush me in the street and say to me, right, do it now. So we actually plan to do today so we can actually show you not only the radio and talk about Community Media Week, but also this section here in the old library. Um, we're actually setting this up as a community info point. Uh, it's the only community info point actually in the city centre, um, and which is something we were trying to do when we had the Community Media Hub on Bishop Street. Um, in the library as it is now, the old reference library. So if you're from a community group or an organisation or you're a member of the public that's interested in any of those things, if you come in here, access to the building, take time to have a look around the fantastic um, Leicester People's Photographic Gallery, uh, set up by Ian Davis now, good, been open for about a month or so, looking really good, really professional, really bedded down, come and have a take a look at this and then check out the community info point, either drop your information off or pick up some leaflets. Hopefully you get involved and become a citizen's reporter for Citizens Eye. Thanks.